Hi. Hello. Well, it's nice to uh, actually be back, as you might say. Um, Health-wise, I'm feeling a lot better. Lots of visits to the doctors, to the hospital, x-rays, blood tests, you name it, I've had it. What I want to do today is explain a few things and I'm going to be sowing seeds. Yeah, that's right, I'm going to be sowing seeds. First of all, name change. Why have I changed the name of the channel from Birchmere Cottage Garden to One Man, One Dog, One World? Because the channel has changed and it's going to be changing not too much more but it's going to be changing a little bit more first of all the name one man unfortunately that's me okay that's me one dog it can only be one dog and that's got to be Bo um, my faithful companion wherever I go he goes so if I go away, he goes away with me. That's how my life is. Um, one world. One world. Well, we've only got the one world we live in. And we need to make the most of it. That's why I can see lots of starlings flying around the garden through, through the kitchen window. <clears throat> Might be the fat balls I'll put out. I'll put a load of new fat balls out. Um, and there will be trips away. In fact, I've got another trip booked for the end of this month, November, and I've got another trip booked for the 23rd of December. Yes, that's right, 23rd of December. Um, we're going to be going south. And then we will stay overnight. And then on Christmas Eve, we'll travel to my sister's and her husband. And I'm going to have Christmas with them and hopefully catch up with some more of the family. Um, there's a lot of family I haven't seen for a good year. Um, and it'll be nice to catch up. But so that's why the channel is changing because there's going to be more traveling. There'll be the garden content, and that'll be going back to how it was um, more seed sowing, more explaining about the various different things that happen in the garden, and more about what happens um, with Bo, his walks. Um, is our travels and that one world aspect going out and about getting to see more of the countryside of what I think is this beautiful beautiful island of ours called England and I want to take you with me now in my unfortunately 72 years of life I've travelled most of England. I've travelled most of Wales. I've only done a small bit of Scotland. But I want to take you to some of the places which I haven't travelled. There are still parts of the UK which, yes, I've gone past, but I've not bothered to go to. Parts of Wales, parts of Scotland especially. So, if you want... Come along with me and Bo, and we'll show you around. At the moment, Bo is in the sitting room, curled up, fast asleep. You awake? You're comfortable? Yep. Yeah. All curled up. You're going to come out in the garden in a moment. Take a walk around the garden, yes? Okay. Well, here at Rosemary Cottage, it's 
a lovely warm six centigrade <laughs> winter's definitely here but <clears throat> you'll have to excuse our body I've got a bad throat the olives are forming olives they won't come to anything rosemary is still in flower and the cassants look gorgeous such lovely chrysanthemums but the surprise is look at the strawberries they are crazily in November forming flowers and strawberries the ice plant is still in flower otherwise everything in the garden is putting itself to bed the uh, fats yeah the false fig is hopefully going to flower and the camellia <laughs> it's got loads and loads of flower buds crazy The rose, they've still got some buds that's on it. No sign of ladybirds like last year on the monkey puzzle, but it's still early. And there's even <coughs> a delphinium flower. Why is the garden is putting itself to bed ready for the winter? The compost is doing well, <coughs> it's rotting down beautifully. The bins are working well. Peppermint and spearmint are looking okay. The uh, perennial leaf celery. The strawberries in flower as well. And isn't that just a gorgeous picture? The apple mint is struggling. The bananas are still in flower, are still in leaf. Um, they're just about to ready to shed their leaves soon, but they're doing good. And this hydrangea, the colour on these flowers as they're going over, absolutely gorgeous. Look at the size of the heads. Still plenty to do in the garden. Uh, still got all this section to sort out. These uh, artichokes are now ready to come up. And yeah, it's all looking good. Bo's having a good look around the garden as well. just to be cut plenty of work the uh, 
find your onions are looking okay. Spring onions are not doing bad. That's the garlic chive, the, the uh, thyme, and it says low of 6.9, high of 11.3, and the highest in the last few days has been 18.1. The tops of the parsnips are dying off. Um, I have pulled a few and yeah, they're not bad. I'm quite happy. Ah. Oh, that was a bit chilly out there. So, back indoors. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what, you know, so I'm going to show you what I'll be sowing today. And the first is the red uh, ruble kale, which is simply seeds. Um, so I'm going to be saying those, they're all year round. The second is the salad leaves mesclan mix, which is all year round. There again, simply seeds. And no, I'm not, I don't get any promotion or pay promotion from simply seeds. I just like the seeds. The second is Pink Beauty Radish. Now, this is not all year round. This one is January to October. But in my mind, if it can grow in January, then it should be able to grow in November, December. What do you think? In any case, I'm going to grow it and see. Now, I've had very limited success with this this year. Normally, I don't have a problem. This year, every time I've, I've grown it, whether it's in the garden, in the ground, or in containers, either the radish bulbs haven't formed to be an edible size, or if they have formed to be an edible size, they've gone woody. Now, why radishes go woody is normally through lack of water. But I always make sure my radishes get plenty of water. I don't drown them, but I make sure they get plenty of water or they don't go woody. And in previous years, I've never had a problem. This is the first year I've had a problem with radishes going woody. I don't know why. In any case, I'm going to give these a go. I'm going to sow some of these in the greenhouse. I'm going to sow some in large pots and put them on the windowsill. See how we go. I'm also going to grow the pea shoots, which is used for salads only. You just let them grow, cut the tops off, and use it for salads. Now, these are, there again, simply seeds. I'll put it up here so you can see it properly. There you go. And this is a 400 gram pack. Now, these are pea shoots 4019. And yes, all year round. Um, don't grow them outside, you grow them in, in containers or pots. Um, I do like growing them in trays because I'm going to be growing them now. Most of what I'm, in fact, everything I'm going to be growing here is going to be grown in pots on the windowsill. All right, I'll go and get some uh, pots and uh, a seed tray <clears throat> and let's see about getting some of these planted. Unfortunately, the uh, microphone decided to stop working. So I've got the pots with some compost in. I've watered them. Now I'm going to start sowing the seeds. The masculine mix and the red rubel kale. <clears throat> I'm sprinkling a good layer on the top. It doesn't matter um, how thick it is because you'll be cutting them rather than using, you know, single plants. You're cutting it as a as a uh, pick and come again, you might say. Just gently tap it down 
so that uh, you know that it's uh, bedded in. I'm going to cover the top with some cling film and uh, just going to put the label section of the packet onto the pot. As I was doing each pot, I was explaining the uh, process and this is, I believe this is the red ruble kale. There again, a good layer on the top and uh, there again, I'll cover it with cling film and these will go on the windowsill. Just a tap down to give it a bed. I'm not covering the seed. Um, previously, I have covered the seed, but it didn't seem to make any difference because a couple, because a few seeds that weren't covered germinated just as good. And as they're germinating indoors, under the uh, cling film, it'll give them the moisture and everything they need in any case. These are the radishes. I've decided that I won't worry about growing them for the radish bulbs. I'm going to grow for the radish leaf. So there again can make a nice thick layer. And um, I'll just use the radish leaf as a cut and come again. Maybe if it comes again. But I'll use it all as a cup veg just going to throw the last lot in so it becomes so they come up nice and thick so I get plenty of uh, salad leaf from the uh, free pots I so say these will all go on the windowsill. Um, I'll water the pots from the base so that I know there's always some water in the uh, trays at the bottom until they come through. And then I can just uh, monitor the water in the trays as and when they need. Now in this pot, I'm going to do the uh, sprouting pea shoots. There again, you know, with sprouting pea shoots, you cut them and use them in the salad. So I've now got I'll now have a good mix of masculine salad mix of red ruble kale salad mix. Um, the uh, pea the pea shoots and the radish leaves. And all of these are going to be on the windowsill. Well, thank you for watching and um, keep safe and well and uh, I'll catch you again in the week because I've got some garlic bulbs to plant out. I'm not sure where I'm going to put them at the moment but uh, we'll find somewhere where they're not going to get too wet and start to rot down. So until then, take care, keep safe, be well. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up, it does help to grow the channel.